For Kelsey Dalton, this summer is filled with traps. Come on. Kelsey and other crews throughout the state are collecting a variety of small mammals. I think it's cute. This data will aid Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks in a new landmark strategy. No one hunts and fishes uh, for small mammals and prairie fish, but they're out there, and they're an important part of all of the communities. But over the last 100 years, we have not had funding to go and look at small mammals or prairie fish. In order to prevent some of Montana's animals from going under the radar screen and eventually flying onto the endangered species list, the federal government began providing matching funds to states for wildlife conservation projects. However, the caveat Congress requires is a full-blown fish and wildlife assessment by October of this year. What the strategy does is it ties together all the species in the state to their common habitats and then identifies those habitats that we can start conserving that will give us the biggest bang for the buck for conserving great numbers of species. Conservation efforts expended now are comparable to preventative health care. Well, that's what we're doing for these species. We're saying let's get ahead of the ball game and be proactive. Let's make sure that, uh, that we keep them healthy, that we provide them with habitat, and that through efforts like the small mammal, we give them a checkup every once in a while. Hopefully what we're trying to do is prevent them from coming to the emergency room. Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish. It'd be exciting if we caught a skunk or something. Small mammals and parks.